Hey guys, I hope that uh, this meter is accurate. Yeah, there it is. 4.55 p.m., 10.26. You can check my area for a factors on this. But 18 mile an hour had some gusts to 25, so I'm going to call it about 20 mile an hour average. I'm going to walk out here and we're going to do a multi-video update. That's the best way I can call it. And you can see what I did out here to my... I built me a nice uh, snow proofing to my porch. Now, one of the big things, wind's probably going to affect the microphone. I'll try to block it. But you'll see these turbines. That one's got a lot of water or a lot of wind wash, I guess you call it, cavitation going into the next one. And even though that 800's getting some good wind, you'll see it moving around a little bit because of that. It's very hard to tell on video the speed of that thing, but you might be able to physically hear it. Um, oh, here. And the other one is that one right there. So, let's get over here. We're going to go to the little 300 watt turbine first. 20 mile an hour winds, let's just call it that, maybe 21. And we're looking at, here's the output on it right now. I don't even see that real good, but we get down there where you can see it. So, 260 watt peak right now. Now, think about that 20 mile an hour, 260 watt peak. 20, 20 something gust, I think it's 23, 25 gust. So that's a pretty accurate rated turbine. Now it's got this running on it here to pull the load down with a 40 watt light bulb just because I don't hit like it hitting its brakes, but it's really crazy. The frame rate speed makes this thing like it ain't even moving, but it's damn quiet. I'm loving this little uh, turbine. All right, second one, the five blade turbine. The three blade turbine and way back there, I will have to get back further to see it, is the Chaos, my home built turbine using a Thermodyne. All materials, everything I've done, links below. That's a good damn turbine. Um, I've been surprised by it. But all the links below, let's go look at a wattage output. And we're lucky we'll get a little better wind speed, but it looks like it's pretty static. The, uh, the wind is cooking pretty good and steady at 20. I think it showed, what, 17, a, a few gusts of 25. But here's this thing here. I want to make a video tonight showing you all of these. I want y'all look. Y'all go see what I'm going to do. That was brand new in the box. It's a little dusty now, but box is upstairs. I'll tell you more about it here in a little bit. Uh, working on some things. Huh? Now, let's get on back here. I'll turn this here light on. There we go. And I got I got a blower running on my uh, diversion system because it's pretty heavy a load on it right now. And let's take a look. So here is, uh, let's see if it'll give you a watt peak. I don't know if this one gives you that or not, I can't remember. So we're at 14.71, so it's diverting pretty hard right now. And 450 on that one. Now 604 watts, I think it's 700 watts just a second ago. So it, it immediately when it's not getting wind walled or uh, prop wash, I guess you call it the best way to put it, prop wash. The prop wash from that one in front of it, because it's only 26 feet behind it. So it gets prop wash. So when we get winds in that direction, it can be a little rough on that 800 watt. But look at that 800 watt go. Look at the wind speeds. It's rated as claimed. That's the whole point. Uh, the reason I show you these turbines is because they are rated as claimed. That 800 watt thermodyne, rated as claimed. You know, and they come and go in and out of the wind. That's why you see these peaks do what they do. So look at that, 900, 1,000, 1,084, 1,150 watts, 1,082 watts. That's that purple turbine. Look at this thing go. This is amazing that they're accurate for what they are. You can even look and tell that the temperature is 109 degrees on these on this uh, rectifier and I'm having to run this little fan that's what's hooked in right here to the clips there so I'm having to run that fan just to make sure that that one here because this rectifier here can't handle the load not it's not supposed to I mean you look there I think what did we hit we hit uh, 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 basically a hundred amps that rectifier is not gonna last and I hope it makes it through tonight so um, we didn't have that kind of wind but down here, I'm going to set my battery back here. I've got a new meter that we're going to install with a big 200 amp shunt. And we've already mounted a 150 rectifier to go in this one's place. 
So I, have, I didn't get a chance to do that. I just put this on, so I didn't have a chance to do that. Uh, I had to be gone running some runs, but cattle runs. But uh, these parts are going on as soon as the wind dies down enough to where I can control this turbine. But this is the 800 watt BNC turbine. This is the the uh, silver turbine, gray matter turbine that's up in the front that's sending all that prop wash back to the middle one. And when you buy a turbine and somebody tells you it's 2,000 or 2,400 watts or 3,000 watts, you know, man, don't believe it unless you got the weight of that product in your hands. I can tell you this sucker is heavy. It's about 75 pounds. This thing up here is of almost 50 pounds. And that one down there that I home built, that Thermodyne PMA is heavy as hell. If they don't got the copper and the magnets, they're not going to produce the power. So don't buy shit that just shows you a picture of a little tiny wind turbine that says 2,000 watts. Don't do that. Don't do that and get pissy that, oh, this guy recommended a turbine. No, I didn't. I didn't tell you to buy that. I, I sent you right there. You want one of them that produce, you just saw that. That thing made almost 1,200 watts in 20 to 22 mile an hour wind. You want real rated stuff, that's what you got to do. You got to buy the real stuff. Spend the extra eight bucks because that's about what it normally costs you. So there you go. So the winds are probably dying down. They look like it right now. Bank voltage is coming down a little bit. But that's, I wanted to catch that to show you guys some pinks. You just seen 1100. I didn't even catch it in my video. Um, I, it might be higher than that. So I will check it. And there you go. 800 watt turbine. Easily up and back down. Look at those amps that were coming out of it. I think it had like 90 amps. When you charge a battery bank this big, guys, this big with these big monsters in it, you need that. Solar can't always do it. All right, man. Y'all be good. Me and the cat's working on new projects. We're going to do some repairs. A lot of classic old stuff. We got this project next.